watercolor painting without a sketch, which is actually, it was very exciting. It came out quite nice. So, the first thing that we're doing is kind of sketching this black paint. You see that the watercolor doesn't come out black when you spread it very thin. I found the best way to do this is just to use smaller um, brushes. So as you, you, you can see, now I'm using a nail art brush for it. And it's actually working pretty simple. I use for under the eye, I use brown instead of black. The only thing is that I can't figure out like how to nicely give them thinner eyeliner. So if I do paint without a sketch, the eyeliner is super thick. But now I'm shading and filling in the rest of the way with the paint when it was like bigger brush. It was taking forever to paint with that teeny one. I'm actually very happy with this because I'm shading her lips and it looks quite nice. After I did that and the black started trailing out, I picked it up so that I can do a different color. So I went with this tealish blue green and then redid the, um, the eyeliner. It's kind of funny because when paint sits or watercolor paint sits, it kind of sucks up more water and thickens up, and then you get solid colors. So, yeah. And now I'm redoing the eyebrows. I did my original eyebrows. This shading was very harsh looking back at it, but I think later I fixed it. But it's really, really harsh. And then I'm going with some highlights. With watercolor, you can highlight with white paint as long as you let it thick, thick enough some. And you have to just dot it and leave it to, to dry. If you try to brush it around, it's going to mix in. So, yeah. I didn't have um, white acrylic paint then, so I couldn't really highlight with it. Now my brother did give me some, so you'll probably be seeing a little bit of that in the future. But here I'm adding a body, so I kind of just sketched it out with just paint. Realized it was darker than the face, so now I'm darkening up the face. This is kind of the ugly face. <laughs> um, don't worry, she's gonna get some clothes and all that stuff. Um, which yeah, I'm finally blending out that nose a little bit. It looks a little bit better. Yeah, but now I'm doing some, some line art with black paint. In my opinion, it's too thick, um, but I'm gonna blend it out later. And I gave her a blue shirt just because I thought it was cute. I love like um, off the shoulder tops and halter tops, so I kind of did an off the shoulder halter top. Um, just because they're so cute. And also, another thing is if you don't like it, uh, like what you did or it's too rough, what I'm doing here can work. I'm blending out the colors with just a wet brush, there's no paint on it. So I'm just blending again, back to doing line art with the um, nail art brush. Sorry if I sound a little bit random. There's a lot of things happening at <laughs> once, or very quickly, because I've sped it up. But now I'm shading. And I'm re-adding those highlights. I don't know why, I tried to add one in the hair. It looked bad, but I didn't blend it. I just left it there. And then when picking a background color, I decided to use yellow. Just because it comp complemented her skin well and contrasted with the hair nicely. So I used yellow for that. And now we're getting into the pencil de details. So I use, um, I think they're called like Color Bank or Cool Bank. Yeah, Cool Bank watercolor pencils. Um, so I'm using those on top of my watercolor. I use these on top of watercolor and on top of alcohol markers. The eyes really popped when I used them. So I used yellow on the bottom and now the eyes just stand out and it helps for that background to fit a little bit better. And I thought these little lines on the background look nice. And it's the final showcase so I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you very much for seeing to watercolor with me. That's all for this Tuesday.